My child is anxious. Help. Thank you for joining parents. My name is Nanette. I studied to be a teacher years ago. I've been in the field of autism for the past 15 years. And I'm also a mother to three young children myself. Today's video is about when our kids are feeling anxious and what we can do to support them because that is something important. We need to know how we can support our children when they are experiencing some everyday anxiety as it happens in children. We all deal with anxiety in our own way. Some of us deal with it quite successfully and in a healthy manner by keeping to our daily schedules that we set up, increasing when we need to, our stress release activities. But some of us struggle more with healthily managing the feeling of anxiety. We might perhaps isolate ourselves when we feel sad or hopeless or frustrated, or other reactions might include anger outbursts that can lead to feelings of shame. And so the circle of negative emotions continues. Exactly the same for our children. Our children experience big emotions just like we do. And sometimes, perhaps often, they experience these emotions more intensely and intently than we do. They feel these things in real time without always necessarily understanding what they are feeling or why they are feeling this way and often without knowing what they can do to feel better, to feel in control, to feel organized and at ease again. And it is our responsibility as parents and as teachers perhaps to help our children learn how to manage these feelings. And there are things that we can do to help them with this. I'm going to share with you today three strategies and it's simple strategies, really simple that you can go and implement right from today. You don't need anything to implement these strategies. And this is going to help your child through those everyday anxiety provoking scenarios. The first one, prep talks instead of pep talks. We have a section in our eight week parenting course that goes into detail about how we can and should prepare our children for potential upcoming changes and transitions. I'm going to add the link in the comment section below so that you can go and check out that eight week parenting course. I would suggest this for any parent and particularly if you are a parent to a child diagnosed with an autism spectrum condition. If your child, if any child has time to mentally prepare for a change, they can predict that change. They know it's coming and with your help, they can apply some coping strategies to help them through those transitions, to expect them and then to know how to deal with them appropriately. This allows them to feel more in control of their environment and their sensory system navigating through these changes and transitions. Then the second one, sensory needs during an anxiety provoking situation. And I can't stress enough how important it is to help our children become aware of their sensory needs at various times. When our child is experiencing a feeling of anxiety, it is necessary to start teaching them. And for that to happen, we need to become aware of that first. What type of sensory activities and exercises can help my child to calm down when they are feeling anxious? to become in control again, to feel organized and comfortable again, if they are going through these emotions and experiencing a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of stress, how can they get through these? There are activities that you can bring in from day to day to help your child to become more aware of their sensory needs. I want you to comment down below, what helps your child what is a stress relief activity for your child when they are a little bit stressed or a little bit anxious? What helps your child? If you can comment down below, this is also going to help other parents to think of ideas that they can try out with their child. So this is a way that you can help and really make a difference for other parents as well. And then the third one, a cool down chamber, which sounds really cool as well. And it's something that our, our kids desperately need but they also learn to enjoy and also feel the benefits of this thing 
We highly recommend including a cool down time where you help your child to understand how to take a moment to debrief after experiencing an anxiety provoking situation or interaction or environment. And this can be something as simple as just taking a moment by themselves or doing some deep pressure exercises after going through an anxiety provoking little situation and this helps them to regain control before they move on to something else so if they're stressed if they're anxious cool down first regain control before they move on this is really important because then we are setting them up for success for the next activity or game or environment whatever the case may be but we're helping them to regain control before moving on. I hope these three tips will make a big difference in your child's life and in your life, of course. But please comment below if you have any suggestions or ideas that other parents can try out with their children too. We always learn best when we learn from one another. Thank you for joining.